anyone? Any wild guess? Zero. Thank you very much. What about here? These areas are the same. One is positive, one is negative. The answer always is zero. Only for odd function and on, on a symmetric interval. Both properties have to be fulfilled. Both conditions have to be fulfilled for the answer to be zero. What about here? Okay, so this will be twice the area between 0 and a from f of x dx. And you can say, what's the big deal? Well, this is easier to calculate with the lower limit 0. So both conditions have to be fulfilled, this symmetric interval and an even function. Otherwise, I can never write this. Okay. I'm on page five. Okay, number eight. Here's an example of a function f of x, and f of x is greater than or equal to zero. Then, then the integral from a to b from f of x dx will have which symbol, which sign? If the function is positive, on the interval a comma b. Then the area would be for sure positive. Excellent. Good. Number nine. So let's suppose I have a function down here and I have a function up here. And of course, our best friend. Interval a comma b. Okay. So obviously, the way I graph this function, f of x is always less than or equal to g of x on a comma b, of course. Then if I apply the integral to both sides, a to b from f of x dx, and the integral from a to b from g of x dx. What symbol will I have in between? Look at the graph. This represents the red, and this represents the blue. Less than equal to? Of course. There was no trick here, no tricky question. Of course. If one function is below another, this one must have smaller area than this one under its graph. And I promise this is the last one. That's it, the last one. It's based on this property. So let's look at this graph. This is a line, horizontal line. Here is another horizontal line. And here's our graph. F of x. Our best friend, a comma b. Can I say from my graph that f of x is definitely above lowercase m and definitely below uppercase m between a and b? I don't know what happens outside. I'm only interested between a and b. Would you agree with this? From the graph. I hope you agree. 
Well, then you have, by based on what we just discussed, you would have to agree with this. But this we can determine, and this we can determine. How come? Oh, yeah. We have the answer from 10 minutes ago. So then let's write the final form. And then let's apply these properties in problems. Practice. Practice, practice. So oh, am I on six? So this is lowercase m uh, b minus a, less than or equal to the integral from a to b, from f of x dx. Of course, less than or equal to m b minus a. And as I promised, this is the last property. And now I'm going to open. Oh, I'm logged out. Of course, I am logged out. I have to log back in. Okay, now I'm in. I hope. Incorrect password. Really? Really? Let's try again. Okay, I'm logged out of this. Why am I logged out? I, I am logged in. It didn't accept my password. It said it was wrong. Okay, now I'm going to try again. Please accept my password. Please. Thank you. The third time is a charm, I guess. Okay. Back to the ebook. Okay, where are you guys? I lost you. Okay, and we're looking at 5.3, no, not 5.5, 5.3, okay, Okay, I like to look at the graph um, first uh, thirty something. And we don't know how to evaluate this just yet. I will have to explain this. So, am I in five dot three? I am in five dot three. Oops. I want to look at 5.2. I did say 5.3. It's 5.2. Sorry. Let me correct that right now. It's 5.2. Let me correct that now before I forget. Sorry. We'll continue with 5.3 after we practice this. Okay, where am I? That's why I said we can do that yet, because I didn't teach that yet. Okay, so I'd like to start with this. The graph of f is shown. We are given a function in the form of a graph. So uh, use the form of the definition of the integral given in to evaluate this integral. Uh, we will do this, but I, I need to explain how to do it. Okay, so we cannot do that just yet. But I like to look at the graph. So we're given the graph of this function, and we're asked a few things here. Find the integral from blah, blah, blah from this function. So please choose one, and let's analyze it. Any of these. Let's look at b from the integral from 0 to 5 from f of x dx. So b in 35 and the integral from 
again, 0 to 5 from f of x dx. Okay. So here's the graph of the function. I just need a blink to copy it here. Okay, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1, and it crosses at 5, right? 3, 4, 5, crosses at 5, and goes to 6, 7, 8, 9, and at 7 is negative 3. 1, 2, 3, okay. 5, 6, 7 is negative 3. Good, and then it goes to, what is it, 9, negative 2. Okay. So in order to determine the area between 0 and 5, all we have to determine is the area here. Okay. So how will I determine this? Uh, very easy. I can split it in few pieces. I can find the area of the trapezoid. I can find the area of the re rectangle and the area of the triangle, knowing that this is 0 and 5. And the height again, the height was a 3. Yes. Good. So, the integral from 0 to 5 from f of x dx will be big base plus small base times the height divided by 2. Big base is 3. Small base, I think it was 2. Small base was 1. So plus 1 times the height of 2 divided by 2. That's the area of the tra trapezoid. Big base plus small base in parentheses multiplied by the height divided by 2 plus 1 times 3 plus base times height divided by 2. So base is 2, height is 3 divided by 2. So I determine the area using a trapezoid, a triangle, and a rectangle. So let's see quickly how much I get here. So I get 4 plus 3 is 7. Uh, 7 plus 3 is 10. Now if we want to continue with the, let's say, um, the integral from 3 to 7, for example. So 1, 2, 3, I think, let me see the graph again. Okay, 2 and 3, this is 3, and this is 2, correct. Okay, so if we want the integral from 3 to 7, from f of x dx, okay. So this is 3, 6, 7. So this is a negative area. From 3 to 7, I already have the area of this triangle, which is 3. So I have this piece, but I have to subtract, because this is a negative area, base times height divided by 2. Base is 2. Um, height, I think it was 3, but let me check. Yes, height is 3. So it turns out that the area is 0. So this is how we interpret areas or calculate areas under graphs. Of course, if the graph is not a regular graph, like uh, forming a trapezoid, a, a rectangle, a triangle, etc., etc., I will not be able to do this. We have a different technique for that. OK. Uh, back to back to page, the next page, yeah. Okay. I would like us to look at something like, again, we'll come back to the other problems. I have not presented the rule of determining 
something like this yet. Okay. Okay. Write this as a single integral. So this is something that I would like to work on, or 58, or 59. Uh, definitely uh, 60, something like 60, for which we don't know any super sophisticated theorem. That will be the next thing we do, the fundamental theorem of calculus. That will be the next thing. And then you will be able to, diff to find a lot of integrals, not all of them. Okay, so let's start with 57. I'll write as a single integral in the form of what? If. So we have the integral from negative 2 to 2 from f of x dx. We are practicing the rules that we just looked at. f of x dx minus the integral from negative 2 to negative 1 from f of x dx. So again, this looks like kind of a gibberish type of problem. I notice one thing immediately, that all of them have the same function. That's crucial. Number two, I notice that this negative 2 to 2 and 2 to 5. Is there any way from the properties we looked at to condense this? Forget about this one for a moment. Is there any way to condense these two? Anyone would like to give it a try? Anyone? <laughs> 